what, what the lady's talking about. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, family? You know how people sometimes say, get the kids out of the room, we're about to have a grown folks conversation. Bring the kids into the room. We're about to have a conversation. Everybody need to hear this. I'll give you a few seconds. All right, time's up. You can always play it back. This is a cautionary tale that could save someone's life, might be yours. The U.S. Marshals Service on Wednesday identified 23-year-old Justin Johnson as a suspect in the murder of 36-year-old young Dolph, one of the suspects. Police have issued a warrant for Johnson for first-degree murder, attempted first-degree murder, and theft of property. He also has a warrant for violation of federal supervised release. A $15,000 reward is being offered in his capture. Some sources have reported that Johnson is a Memphis rapper who goes by the name Straight Drop. Many fans are also making the connection, noticing that Straight Drop shot a video outside of an abandoned home they believe is the same spot where a white Mercedes matching the description of the getaway car in Young Dolph's death was discovered. That video was posted online following Young Dolph's death. The Federal Bureau of Investigation said that Johnson was sentenced in Tennessee and served time in prison from March 11, 2019 until he was released from a Louisiana facility on May 25th 2021 for good conduct. Kind of sounds like a oxymoron for somebody who was so quick to squeeze the trigger. Guess what he went to prison for? Ding, ding, ding. Police say that in 2017, a fight broke out at a bowling alley and Justin went outside and got an assault rifle and just started shooting in the crowd, hitting three innocent people. One of the guys who got hit said that he was surprised that the dude was on the streets. He got out in March and in November, he's allegedly back at it again. That ain't even the story. The story is how close he was to young Dolph. Now I'm not talking about in terms of relationship, I'm talking about proximity. He's on stage with young Dolph. Looks like stage, a stage. But in any event, he's behind young Dolph, wherever they were. So he looks like a member of his entourage. At the least, he's has some type of affiliation with somebody that's close to Young Dolph in order for him to be that close to him. This is why it's very important, fam, for you to watch the company you keep. There are people who are around you right now who's not going to be around you in a year five years, 10 years. Most of my enemies, I can tell you straight up, were my friends or considered friends at some point. And that's how life operates. Usually, even if you look at the United States, look at, look at all the enemies they've had. All of America's enemies were once their friends. This dude was so close to young Dolph, he could have knocked him off 
the same night they took the picture. You got people that are around you, that are close to you. They want your spot and they know all the right things to say to get close enough to hurt you. A lot of times what they do is they'll tell you how great you are. They'll get you off your square by telling you things like, I got you, baby. I got you. I got you. What you need? Man, you know, man, we, you know, we like brothers. You family. What's up, family? Family, family, family. When I say family, it's real. Y'all know it's real when I say it. But y'all know what I'm talking about, man. You know, they try to use these words of endearment to throw you off your square. Next thing you know, they laying up with your woman, laying up with your dude. They got your money and ain't paid you back. They ran off with your bread, you know, talking behind your back, trying to deny you access to something. Most of your greatest enemies, fam, believe this. And probably right now, I bet you, if most of you just thought about your biggest enemy, I bet you it was once a friend. I bet you anything. It was once somebody who was very close to you. I mean, and this is what makes them your biggest enemy. Because if just some, just some random stranger, somebody, somebody at the job you don't like, or whatever, that ain't nothing, you get past that. But it's the people who you, you put trust in. It's, the, it's that betrayal enemy, that enemy that betrayed you, that was once a friend. That's the one. Be very careful, man. I'm not saying you can't trust anybody. I don't think you should live life like that. But everybody should be vetted. Don't just give somebody a pass just because they say, you my dog. I got you. Don't just give them a pass for that. Make them earn your friendship. Be very careful who you allow in your immediate space. Because if you're not careful, they can take you out. I don't know exactly how this went down, but something tells me that dude at least broke bread with Dolph. I wouldn't be surprised if, if he knew his he knew the dude's name at the least. A lot of times when you get money, you will have friends who bring friends around. Right? So it's possible that young Dolph really didn't know dude like that. Probably just knew him as a round the way dude, you know, like, oh, that's my homeboy homie, or something like that. You got you gotta be so good with picking your friends that you pick friends who are good at picking friends. Because just picking your friends ain't enough. R.I.P. Young Dolph. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.